this is the Excalibur. This is a British Tier 6 tank destroyer. The map is uh, Mannerheim Line, also known as Arctic Region. So I don't have a lot of experience playing over here, so don't expect amazing gameplay. I've almost never played over here. Maybe I did five or six years ago, but look at this camo. So I'm just going to wing it. So there's a Hellcat up there, and I've got a lot of ammo, so we're going to have a little fun with that, maybe later. Can't really see. Oh, it scared the crap out of me. That's why I turned the audio down. He's a little busy. One more shot, I could have taken him out. Come on. The comet is gone. So I'm going to go this way because it's safer to advance closer to the enemy. And it will give us a wider view spread. Let me get close to the right in case I can spot that Hellcat. The more you're close to the edge of the map, the less effect the less effective your spotting is. Trying to go forward. Okay, so I thought the KV-2 was a threat, but it looks like his gun was pointed in a different direction. I was hoping that the SPG would have taken him out. Yeah, they came after me. They cheated. These guys are cheating. What they're doing is they see you on the map, and then the ally comes around and gets behind you and kills you. You see, I, want, I was hoping, usually what these guys do, 
is they would have come down this way, and I was like, I'm going to come down this way. Please don't follow me, and of course he follows me. If he had come down this way, the Jackson would have been focused on him. I would have gotten behind the Jackson, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, people, they, they, they can't play all by themselves. They always got to follow their allies, and it's not always a smart thing to do. So we're going to check out VK. I really think that the VK should go back to base. KV2 has low hit points, so I'm letting my allies know. He's only got seven hit points. What I would do is, you know, possibly go over here or go to here or drive up through here. I don't know. But being right here, what's he going to spot? Look at, look at how far he is from everyone. He's not in a useful position. I don't like where this guy is. This guy I'm in love with is actually my girlfriend, Dean. I have an idea for Marks of Excellence. Right now, Marks of Excellence is based on the past 100 games, and you get three marks. They could do a fourth mark based on something like 500 games. You know, you could get that fourth mark if you're if you do well in a huge number of games. See the VK, he's returning back to base, which is actually a smart thing to do. You really got to move. You got to move. I don't remember the hit points for the Hellcat. I should have remembered and told my team. Hopefully he's smart enough to stay low over here. Yeah, it looks like he, he's he's doing the, the right thing. I would go up and spot, then come back down and go to another spotting position. Yeah, he could have taken a nice spot over there. No, he went too far. He should have gone up more this way because of the gap. Obviously, it doesn't make a difference. What you can do is fire and roll back and see if you get spotted. You see there was an enemy tank there. He might not have six cents, so he was spotted. I think he, he doesn't have six cents. Or I should say she. Don't want to assume gender. Good what sounds like a girl's name. He's going to get nailed. The SPG is going to take him out of the game. He's got a lot of hit points. He could easily go and get killed. Now's the time to run and hide. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, 
Well, hopefully the Super Hellcat knows he has 7 HP. Oh, go in, go in. Well, you're going to get hit by SPG. Yeah, see. And he lost his commander and his gunner. You are fast. Go far away from him. Go for enemy SPG. You will spot him long range. Yeah, so he, the smart thing to do is just get away from the KV-2. The KV-2 is slow. He's low on hit points. He's going to be spotted easily. Just get out of here. Go for the enemy SPG. I, I don't know if I would go this way, but uh, he's fast. He's got, well, they don't have enough time to finish this game off. Unless they cap. Yep, there it is. It took him about 30 seconds to get down to here, so it takes him 30 seconds to go back. You see the M44, he's scouting out over here. Smart thing to do. I don't know what you got to do for the cap. If it's 1 minute 40 seconds, yeah, 1 minute 40 seconds. So he had to get on the cap at 1 minute 40 seconds. Sometimes the SPG goes up there. He is cruising 64 miles per hour. Look at that. Yeah, you better reverse. That's it. We're going to win. As long as the M44 stays on the cap, they can't win. Yeah, see, the KV-2 has to get off the cap, but he'll never make it there in a minute to go reset. Remember, it took him 30 seconds to go most of the way. Oh, too bad, buddy. Too bad. Yeah, that's it. I called it. I told him what to do. You see, these guys, they're, they're listening on their uh, team speak. So they know I'm, I'm telling them what to do. They know what to do. You see how these these guys are all Abbott, Bruce Abbott, Ad, Aiden Abbott, Nathaniel Abbott. These are all zero skill BIA. And I applied the bonus, which means that they're going to level up faster. Notice they have six kills, the five plus one. So it's smart to apply the bonus when you have your zero skill BIA crew members. We're going to see how the gun mark progress is. 51.0, which is absolutely amazing.